Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome to the concluding installment of my Season 3 F123 My Team Career Mode journey. And what a journey it has been. The Championship, in terms of the Drivers Championship, has been settled. I am the Drivers Champion. Now, we are going after two things. A, the Constructors Championship, and B... We're going to see how high we can get Drogovic in the Drivers' Championship too. So I am stepping into a supportive role for this weekend. First up though is qualifying and Vegas is the destination for the concluding race. Racing along the famous strip. First off though, let's qualify and qualify well. And you know what? That is what I'm fully intending to do. Through the race, I'm going to support Drogovic. And we have a very, very much upgraded car. We are top of the performance index by a little bit now. So that should help us attain the weekend we need to here. And this lap so far has got to be said is going very well as we take to the mile long strip down. And you know what? Even in the game, it looks absolutely spectacular. The attention to detail that has gone into this track blows my mind every time I do it on this game and I can't wait to see what it looks like on the 2024 game but right now we're completing our qualifying lap and you know what it is looking super quick and if it's looking super quick that's because it is we round the final bend and I do believe okay, that for the job, final mate. time really, this really season well it is pole position drive. for yeah. us and we are very much looking forward to the race ahead. Drogovic is second. Let's grab that one too. And let's see how high up we can get Drogovic in the driver's standings. But for now, in terms of clinching the team's championship, that has placed us in the pound seat. Welcome along to Las Vegas, and Formula One might be in the middle of the Nevada desert, but who'd have thought it? It's raining out there. Now, how will that affect the drivers as they race along the strip? 17 corners, three straights, two DRS zones, and the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas as we race around the 3.8 miles of Sin City. The strip has been taken over to become a straight tonight, commanding top speeds of around 212 miles an hour. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Sparkles lines up on pole position, and Felipe Drogovic completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Sainz, Perez, Gasly, Leclerc, Norris, Magnussen, Theo Porcher, Ocon, Bottas, Stroll, Liam Lawson, Joe, Russell, Sonoda, De Vries, Holkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Sargent, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the and, and they can do it for sure, as long as... Here we go then, one final time this season, we are on the grid. What will happen over the next 25 laps? We are underway here in Vegas. It's a good start from us. Drogovic as well making a good start. And we are going to be 1-2 into the first bend. That is exactly where we want to be. Myself and Drogovic are the top two. And Sainz and Verstappen are squabbling over third. Even better news for us because it means we're going to get that tiny bit of a gap out by the end of sector one. And you know what? Drogovic is going for it. And I'm going to get out of the way and not hold him up. And Felipe Drogovic takes the lead of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. We are settling into second place here. And I'm just going to cheekily back these guys up a little bit by not going as quickly as I can just to back them up. And we now come to the end of the strip on lap two. Drogovic is already pulling out a gap. Sainz is having a look down the inside. I'm going to squeeze him a little bit, make him go tight. And in the end, we break that bit later and hold on to P2. Drogovic is only a second and a half up the road. But the critical thing is he is out of DRS threats for now. And he is just building that gap. And that is what we're trying to do. Build a bit of a lead. We've got three seconds to the rest of the pack. We are just flying clear of the rest of the field. 
and signs of Verstappen, well, they've been having their own battle, and that is what has been allowing us to just stretch away with it. But unfortunately for Charles Leclerc, his season ends in a plume of smoke. It's not been a particularly good season for the Monegasque. He is out of the race. Right, here is Oscar Piastri in his last race for Alpha Tauri, and he's facing backwards. Oscar Piastri is facing backwards, and that, I believe, is going to trigger a safety car. I think that is got to be for sure a safety car or a red flag. No, it's a safety car. And one thing I'm doing, because Drogovic will be into the pits, I'm backing the pack up behind me okay, just a little bit. Lane. Tactically backing them so Drogovic gets a drama free stop. We're going to pit in for the hard tyres and this is bordering on cheeky now. I should not be allowed to do this but whatever. We pit in. Drogovic is now clear of the pits. And that also means I don't get held up too much either. So it is a bit of tactical play here. And the team are just about Felipe's ready for me. And I think we will lose a about half a second or so right, and in go. fact we've been held up Perfect because Max Verstappen like has nice come past but you know what we'll get him on the restart and that is exactly what we're going to do because we're getting back underway here in Vegas and we're going to have a look at Max Verstappen down the inside into turn one that's a brave move and someone please explain to me how that was an illegal move we were down the inside in a green flag zone for God's sake how is that illegal? But it, whatever, it is what it is. And now we're charging at Verstappen, who's going around the outside of Norris. So they're having a little battle too. We're sitting back in P4. They're banging wheels together. So Verstappen trying to force his way past Lando. And we're going to do the same thing into the left-hander here. And we do get past Norris. Teo Porsche might want to get involved in this as well. He's having a stunning race up in the top five. Meanwhile, we're just going to drive past Max Verstappen down the Vegas Strip. And we have got past the Red Bull, but he's still trying to keep the inside line. He's thinking of maybe breaking later, but the speed we have, we do have that speed advantage. And Drogovic has gone from medium to medium. Don't know who called that strategy, but he will have to stop again. So I'm trying to back the guys up as much as I can. But unfortunately, that means I'm losing position as Verstappen goes down the inside of me. Uh, and that was actually a very decent move by Max. But we're going to get back in the slipstream of Verstappen. And for sure, we're going to be through down the inside here. Nope, we are not. Yes, we are. Because we're forcing our way through. And that is P2 back for us. And like I said, I'm just trying to back them up and give Drogovic a bit more of a lead. So that he can pit in and not lose too many positions. That is the plan, that is the tactic. Try and help teammate. Verstappen's got, trying to go around the outside there, but that's not going to happen, and Norris is going through as well, and we're just ever so cautiously backing the pack up. This is where we can do it as well, that slow bit of track there. Drogovic has nearly built up 10 seconds, so at this point, he is fully gone. But we've got to worry about the drivers behind us because on this long straight, you get such momentum, especially if you have the DRS. Verstappen is through. But now we're going to get a little bit of a double toe as Norris is trying to get through on Verstappen as well. Verstappen covers, and he's gone tight there. But he's bounced off the wall, which means he's tagged us a little bit. Oh, it's wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing here in this season finale. And on lap 18, Drogovic is pitting. And I don't know where he's going to emerge, but I am hoping, hoping it's going to be in the top few. And I'm going to say this, if Drogovic does get back up to second, I will peel out the way and give him the win. So, what can Drogovic do now? It is all up to him in the closing stages of this Las Vegas Grand Prix. We're absolutely miles out front. Here's Felipe Drogovic, so he's currently in fourth, having a go at Carlos Sainz, going down the inside before the strip. Now that's a mistake because both Sainz and Verstappen are going to have DRS on him. So right now that's not going to work as you just go around the kink that it makes up the strip. Sainz is going through, Verstappen is also looking for a way past and Verstappen gets through as well. So Drogovic down to fifth. 
losing two spots there. What is going on in the background? I do not know. But we're following Drogovic now as he tries to make his way into P4. He's got three laps to do this. And Drogovic round the outside of Verstappen. And you know what? He gets that done. Next up on the strip, he's going after Carlos Sainz. Side by side down the strip. And Drogovic is going to be through without a shadow of a doubt. Drogovic is through. His next target on the final lap is Perez in sector one. And Drogovic blasts past the Red Bull. So he has made it into P2 on this final lap of the Vegas Grand Prix. And I'm going to honour what I said I would do now. I'm going to slow down. And we are going to let Drogovic go through for his position in the Drivers' Championship. As well as guaranteeing the 1-2 in the Constructors, which we would have done anyway. But I really want to try and get Drogovic a couple more cheeky positions in that Drivers' Championship. So that's what we're going to do. We are literally cruising now to the last part of the lap. And if I can do it while giving... Felipe Drogovic, a little dose of DRS. That will be incredible. Through goes Drogovic then. He does get a bit of DRS assistance as we complete the final sector here and now. Pushing down the Vegas Strip. It is Felipe Drogovic then in the lead. And I don't think anything at this stage is going to stop us from taking the 1-2. It has been a wonderful season. And I'm so grateful for the fact that we have had such a strong car all the way through this championship it started out not so strong but we managed to fight our way into the championship and come the end of the season this car was incredible it's a 1-2 then with Drogovic winning the final race of the season coaster season but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today tell me at how do they manage to achieve this win i feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own and that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. Sparkles increases their championship lead. Let's focus on... The well, that's it then. The final race today. of the season. And it was won by Felipe Drogovic. And we wish him the very best as he moves to another team next season. But guys, who do you think my teammate for season four will be? Let me know in the comments who you think it is. I've already picked them. And I really feel like this driver is going to help keep the team on a good trajectory. We do have a series of regulation changes which we weren't able to save all our parts for, but it is what it is. So let's see how the title finishes then. We've won. Gasly is second. And it's Russell and Verstappen third and fourth. Drogovic, he doesn't move up in the end, but he, he still holds on to a solid top five position in the championship. Then it's Perez, Sainz, Leclerc, Norris, Ocon for the top ten. Then it's Magnussen, Porsche, Valtteri Bottas in his last season, Lance Stroll, Zhou Guan Yu, and that concludes the points finishers. There were only 15 drivers in the end scoring points in this season. And, well, it's quite miserable to see that, really. And only eight constructors scoring points. But we managed to take the constructors' championship. What a season it's been. Like I said, we weren't able to protect all our parts of season four. 
meaning we will be starting a little bit on the back foot. But who will be on the front foot? Join me when Season 4 begins. Thank you for watching. TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care.